Hello and welcome to the Chord Potion Quick Start Tutorial. Chord Potion is a MIDI effect plugin that can turn your chord progressions into new riffs and melodies instantly. So it's pretty simple. You play your chords in your DAW, send them to Chord Potion and Chord Potion will generate new notes for you that are played on your synth. I will show you how you can create your own patches in a second. But first, let's take a look at some presets so you know what can be done with Chord Potion. I prepared a simple chord progression for you and it sounds like this. Chord Potion will always record the output notes for you, so if you like a melody, you can simply drag and drop the recorded MIDI file to your DAW. Ok, so how can you create your own patches? Let's take a look. First, let's load the preset AAA in it. As you can see, Chord Potion consists of four different rows. The basic idea is this. You can load a different harmonic rhythm pattern for each row and Chord Potion will combine these patterns to create new output notes for you. Let's start with the chords row. At the moment, the pattern is set to 4 steps beat. This means that the pattern will trigger all the input notes again and again on every beat. Now let's pick a different pattern. I will use 6 steps variation A. Let's listen again. There are dozens of built-in patterns, but you can also create your own rhythms. Simply click on edit and you will see a sequencer page. Press play in your door and the sequencer starts. Click on a step to add another note trigger. A 0 means that the currently active chord will be played back. A 1 will play back the first inversion and so on. You can change the velocity and you can also edit the strum direction and speed. This one goes up in the chord notes and this one is going down. Click on a step for a second time and you will see a hash symbol. This symbol stops all playing notes. You can also drag steps around to find the best places for your triggers. Ok, so far we only used the chord throw. But as I told you, we can use several rows at once. For example, let's load an arpeggio into the top row. Click on edit and you can change the melody. When you work on a melody row, the sequencer will behave a bit differently. A 0 will trigger the first note of the chord, a 1 will trigger the second note and so on. There's also another field here. When you click on it, you will see the step effects. On the left side you have some probability sliders. They can go from 0, which means that the effect will never happen, to 100%, which means that the effect will always happen. So if you set this slider to 50%, the step will turn into a stop symbol in half of all cases. You can combine different effects to create randomized melodies. For example, let's also randomize the note a bit. You can also drag step effects around. Ok, let's go back 
and pick another pattern like 12 steps quick melody B. We can solo the row and listen to the output. For each row you can change the velocity of the pattern, transpose the pattern up or down a few octaves and you can also change the speed. Another important setting, let's take a look at the mode box over here. Restart on chord change means that chord potion will restart the pattern each time a new chord comes in. Keep on running means that chord potion will repeat the pattern on and on as soon as you start the door. Chord potion contains different ways to create randomized melodies. Each row contains two different effect slots. As you can see, we have a big list of effects over here. Each effect will change the pattern. Let's pick Add Notes for example. This effect will add additional notes to the pattern. When you work with randomization effects, you can click on Generate new variation to create new patterns. Let's listen to a few examples. Let's click on Generate again. Of course you can combine different effects with each other. For example we can choose Remove Notes M. Now Chord Potion will first add new notes and then remove some of the notes afterwards. There are also two global effect slots. These global effects will get applied to all the rows. I will use randomized note length 1 to 2 steps now. Ok, so before we end this video, I have two quick tips for you. Number one, you can switch between pages by using the lowest notes of your keyboard. So the lowest C is page 1, C sharp is page 2 and so on. And the second quick tip, you can download many more presets at feelyoursound.com slash packages. Check out the Chord Potion website for the full manual and additional tutorials. I wish you a lot of joy and see you soon.